favorable to him, says that Bob Mueller should go. Uh, what kind of reception are you getting to that, Congressman? Well, Neil, I was at one point a, a lone voice in the wilderness calling for Bob Mueller to be fired based on the bias and conflicts of interest that were evident to me several months ago. And now there is a chorus of Republicans that seems to continue to see more and more evidence of this bias. And it's really important to note that we're not just seeing someone express an opinion about President or about Secretary Clinton. These are actual plans that are being made via text messages and meetings with people at the FBI to undermine the sitting president of the United States both before and after he was elected. So we need an FBI that is independent, that the people can trust, and we do not have a process now that is going to yield a result that instills any confidence in the American people because Bob Mueller has recruited a team of people who like are the governing board of the Never Trump movement, and I think we deserve better. So you don't accept at face value when he got rid of the, you know, one guy, but that was enough. This is not one guy. You've got Jeannie Ree, who was one of the lawyers who actually defended the Clinton Foundation against FOIA requests. You've got the very individual who set up Hillary Clinton's email server, who's now a part of the Mueller probe. Over half of the members of Mueller's team donated to either Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama. None of them donated to President Trump. So either you've got a circumstance where Bob Mueller specifically recruited people who had a bias against the president, or it is just the coincidence of all coincidences that this seems to be the collection of people that are persecuting the president. Uh, it's also worthy to note, Neil, that Bob Mueller did not produce this to us. He essentially had his team busted by Horowitz, the inspector general of the FBI, and then they were forced to come forward, uh, not because they wanted to, but because Devin Nunes and the Intelligence Committee was issuing subpoenas and demanding testimony, and this would have come out. I think there's more to come still, and that's why we need to get rid of Bob Mueller and have a truly independent review of the true collusion that happened in this election between the DNC, the FBI, and this Fusion GPS company that was paying Russians. Um, you know, Democrats are charging you, not you specifically, but this Republicans are pouncing on this as an act of deflection. What do you say? Well, I mean, the evidence is overwhelming. It wasn't Republicans that sent text messages back and forth, you know, claiming that these people at the FBI would be the insurance policy, the saviors of the American people. This is smoking gun evidence, not only of bias, but of plans to act on that bias in a way to undermine President Trump. Uh, you know, Democrats used to uh, cry and squall about Russia every week in the Congress. It seems these days they're the ones trying to deflect because they don't want to talk about this anymore based on the DNC and the FBI's work with the Fusion GPS company that produced this salacious and unverified dossier. Are you worried about uh, the, the, the sort of scheme of unintended consequences? Let's say you succeed in getting Mueller out of there. It's not as if uh, investigations in either direction are going to go away. I assume there would be another prosecutor, maybe starting from scratch, maybe picking up Mueller's work, and this goes on and on and on. Well, I mean, Neil, there, there has to be an end at some point. It's time for Bob Mueller to put up or shut up. If there's evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, let's see it. All we've seen so there far There are indications, is, by the way, Congressman, you know this better than I, that the, the, the interviewing stage is done, that Mueller is done with that, and that this might be very close to a conclusion. Well, and if there is a conclusion, let's see it. But we're a year into the Donald Trump presidency almost, and we've had this cloud over the administration that distracts us from working on issues that could improve quality of life for the American people. So if there's evidence, let's see it. Right now, the strongest evidence seems to indicate that you had the DNC uh, paying for this false information and that you had the FBI then dressing that information up and then using it as a basis for a FISA warrant to spy on the American people. That's where we really need answers. And it's also where we need structural reform at the FBI for more transparency, more oversight, and so that this never happens again. All right, Congressman, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Neil. All right, we're keeping